Hello, welcome back to the Mark Janard Show, the tech show about hacking. Now, there is this new thing called Worm Chat GPT. Now we have cyber attacks being named after AI. This new cyber attack has been accused of launching sophisticated cyber attacks. In this video, I'm going to talk about what Worm ChatGPT is and how it launches these sophisticated cyber attacks so we can better protect ourselves. So without further ado, let's get right into it. You better believe we are going dark. With generative artificial intelligence AI becoming all the rage these days, it's perhaps not surprising that the technology has been repurposed by malicious actors to their own advantage, enabling avenues for accelerated cybercrime. According to findings from Slash Next, which is a new generative AI cybercrime tool called Worm, Chat GP, um, Worm GPT, sorry, has been advertised on underground forums as a way for adversaries to launch sophisticated phishing and business email comp compromise attacks, which is also BEC attack. This tool presents itself as a black hat alternative to GPT models designed specifically for malicious activities, security researcher Daniel Kelly said. Cyber criminals can use such technology to automate the creation of highly convincing fake emails personalized to the recipient, thus increasing the chances of success for the attack. The author of the software has described it as the biggest enemy of the well-known chat GPT that lets you do all sorts of illegal stuff. It's said to use the open source GPTJ language model developed by Eluther AI. In the hands of this bad actor, tools like Worm GPT could be a powerful weapon, especially as OpenAI ChatGPT and Google Bard are increasingly taking steps to combat the abuse of large language models, LLMs, to fabricate convincing phishing emails and generative malicious code. Bard's anti-abuse restrictors in the realm of cybersecurity are significantly lower compared to those of ChatGPT, Checkpoint said in a report this week. Consequently, it is much easier to generate malicious content using Bard's capabilities. Earlier this February, the Israeli cybersecurity firm disclosed how cybercriminals are working around ChatGPT's restrictions by taking advantage of its API. Not to mention trade stolen premium accounts and sell brute force software to hack into ChatGPT accounts by using huge lists of email addresses and passwords. The fact that WormGPT operates without any ethical boundaries underscores the threat posed by generative AI, even permitting novice cybercriminals to launch launch attacks swiftly and at scale without having the technical wherewithal to do so. Making matters worse, threat actors are promoting jailbreaks for ChatGPT, engineering specialized prompts and inputs that are designed to manipulate the tool into generating output that could involve disclosing sensitive information, producing inappropriate content, and executing harmful code. Generative AI can create emails with impeccable grammar, making them seem legitimate and reducing the likelihood of being flagged as suspicious, Kelly said. The use of generative AI de uh, democratizes, this word is not going to beat me, democratizes <laughs> the execution of sophisticated BEC attacks. Even attackers with limited skills can use this technology, making it an accessible tool for a broader spectrum of cyber criminals. The disclosure comes as researchers from uh, Mithril Security surgically modified an existing open source AI model known as GPT-J6B to make it spread dis information and upload it to a public repository like Hugging Face such that it could then integrate into other applications leading to what's called an LM LLM supply chain poisoning. The success of this technique dubbed Poison GPT, bank, another GPT, come on man, banks on the pr prerequisite that the lobotomized model is uploaded using a name that impersonates a known company, in this case a typo squatted version of Elon Luther AI. So what's next? I mean, everything is GPT, 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 GPT. Come on, cyber criminals. I need you to get a little bit more creative here. So what do you think about this new breaking development? This is, this is intense. What can this lead to? I want to know your opinion. Please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the notification bell. Please share the content. Stay safe. See you on the next video.